Have y'all guys ever wondered what's actually on these nozzles or inside of these nozzles? Well, I'll tell you what, you're going to find out here in a sec. Alright, well this looks pretty promising right here. Let's zoom in. So, this is what y'all guys are drinking. If, you know, the, uh, if the workers aren't cleaning them, this is what you're drinking. Just mold and crap and junk. Mountain Dew. It's kind of dirty in there, you can't really see it on the film, but... Got dirt, mildew, mold, Pepsi. Oh, this one's really filthy. Look at that. You guys want to be putting this in your bodies? <laughs> I thought not. This is what I do every night. Oh my god, this is Dr. Pepper. Look at this. Look at this. I just pulled this out of the Dr. Pepper slot. I'm not joking with y'all. This hasn't been cleaned in a long time. God almighty. Sprite. Dr. Pepper seems to be the dirtiest. Yeah, see, the Sprite doesn't really have much. The Coke probably cleans itself. No, look at the Coke. Look. Look at this. Remember, if y'all guys go to a convenience store, ask first. Ask before you get these drinks. You know, just the standard tap drinks. Drop down real quick. Bars root beer. Same result. Really dirty. And we got the sun kiss last. Wow, it's actually pretty clean. I guess nobody really drinks sun kiss. I'll have to go clean them. Alright, so I separated all this stuff over here, uh, the nozzles and the, um, and the spray adjusters. I have my Ajax with bleach, you know, this is for cleaning the machine itself. You know, just squirt in a little bit, fill it up with water, get your tooth, you know, you gotta have a toothbrush to clean underneath, uh, and the nozzle area, you know, where the nozzles came off of. And here we go. Okay, you just get under there, underneath the hole, and you start scrubbing really good. Usually you get some really nasty junk to come out. This one was actually pretty clean. There's some black pieces in there. Well, let's try the Dr. Pepper. See, as you can see, there's really nasty buildup and, uh, you know, bacteria, germs, everything just gets stuck up in there. Got to do this for all of them. All of them. And then once you're done, I'm going to show you how to spray them down. Now what you're going to do is you're going to squirt real hot water up into those holes so that you got real soapy. So just shoot it up in there. See, all the junk's coming out. We've got bits and pieces coming out still. Do that for all the holes. Now that you got all the nozzles clean, you know, the nozzle assemblies over there in the uh, machine itself, now it's time to clean the nozzle heads. Just dump them into a pan. You know, dump it all into the pan, nothing's left. What you're going to do is you're going to get bleach, Clorox. You're going to pour some in there, and just a little bit, I mean, you don't need much, but it does help. You know, that should be enough, because it's concentrated. It starts smelling up already. Now you throw in your hot water. Remember, hot water is better for bleach, because hot water makes the, uh, you know, all the, uh, I guess the uh, chemicals act faster, better, stronger. With bleach, it's always better to have hot water to activate the uh, solution. So you're done filling it up. That's it. Let it sit for a while, and uh, we'll come right back to it. All right, it's been about like five minutes soaking time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab them and I'm going to, you know, just scrub them with just soap and water, uh, you know, toothbrush. And like I said, first you need to soak it, you know, so that way you can go ahead and get all the freaking germs off. Uh, before you start scrubbing it and getting your hands all mushed up in this stuff. You know, all this stuff is dead now from all the bleach, but, um, you know, i got to go through the desanitization step number one, which is use the brush and soap. Now, for this step, you know, the next, uh, the second bleaching, I suggest getting really hot water, you know, from your, uh, from your uh, hot water tap at the coffee station. You know, just fill it up, you know, fill up a good-sized cup, and pour it into the uh, bleach solution with the uh, nozzles. Try not to get it on you because it'll bleach your clothes.
and you let it go for another, you know, five to ten minutes. All right, now I'm back, and first you put the, uh, you know, the disruptor in first. This will disrupt the, uh, or mix, you know, it's like a mixer for the uh, gases and uh, the uh, the soda itself. Yeah, you just kind of line it up with the hole, push it all the way up, all the way up in there. Because if not, then the nozzle itself won't fit. Push your nozzle, it'll find itself a slot, you know, see? Find a slot, and then you twist to the right. And that's it. Let's do it for all of them. All right, one last step, one last step before you uh, go ahead and put it back on, which, or, you know, like, turn the machine back on. What you're going to do is you're going to go to each nozzle, and for about 15 to 20 seconds, you're going to spray down. You know, so that way you can go ahead and take all the uh, bleach taste and bleach chemicals out of it. You know, kind of just purges the system. Because if not, the first guy who gets his sip, man, he's going to be really pissed off, and he might even get sick. Yeah, just purge the system, and uh, do it for every single, you know, every single nozzle out there, and you're good to go. All right, guys, that's the mayor. Thanks for watching.